right, so we're back for day two. We took out some of the sheetrock here where they had a little bit of a moisture issue. We're gonna spray with concrobium. This stuff just treats if there's any mildew present, keeps it from coming back. Just an extra guarantee. We're gonna put some guards on it. This will just lock down the paper so that we don't get bubbles and we don't have any issues. Once that's dry, we're gonna sheetrock over that. We're gonna tape it, hit it with some Easy Sand 20, and we'll be all set to go. Instagram, we met. Everybody's met. We met Dave, we met Nathan. So you're meeting all these young painters now that are asking you, what, what's your advice to these young guys getting in there? You know, I saw your trajectory from being a guy that's just wanted to be a great painter to a guy now that's doing fine finishes and restoring historical homes. So what is your advice to these young guys in the craft? I guess uh, I'd say don't get discouraged. That's something that my grandfather used to say to me all the time. Um, don't get discouraged. Don't be afraid to fail. Uh, all this stuff, every aspect of, uh, of anything you're going to learn, really. But in this trade, it, it takes failure uh, to figure it out. It's a trial and error. You're going to fail. You're going to learn from it. And you're going to change what you're doing. And you're going to do better the next time. And uh, it's, it's, I tell myself a lot, you can always sand and paint it again. <laughs> so don't, don't get discouraged. Wow, Tim. This looks really amazing. This must have been a ton of work, man. It, uh, it is a ton of work. It's still uh, a work in progress. We've got a long way to go, but... Uh, how much time do you think you put into this already? I believe I got 10 days into paint removal so far. Wow. So what would that, in that 10 days, what would that include? What, what's that, that was, um, well, I st started with uh, moving all the furniture out of the room and everything like that because the clients are not around. I uh, got my site protection set up, that took me a couple days. Uh, seal up the rooms, put down my plastic, uh, and then I started with the removal, which I applied the Peel Away 1 from Dumond. Um, yeah. So I had several days of applying it, several days of taking it off, and then washing all the wood with a sponge and a scrubby pad and some water, letting all that dry, cleaning all that mass up, and then coming around and spraying it all down again to neutralize it. Yeah. Uh, now it's drying. So next week I'll be able to come in here and start actually getting into prepping the wood for paint and some of the other phases of this project. Wow. These restoration projects, I, they're few and far between. You know, you don't get too many of them, but we have a real finite number of these old homes on Cape Cod. And the thing is, everything's degrading slowly. So yeah. once they're gone, you can't get them back. Yeah. It's, right. it's, it's a precious resource out here. We have these homes that have these, this history. You know, every wall tells a story in these homes. Mm -hmm. To me, I can walk into a, a home that's two, 300 years old and it just starts telling me stories. Yeah, and, uh, yeah there's a lot to that. And you know, it's, it's once, these, once these are gone, you can't get them back. So for me to have a hand in that story for this home, uh, to get to do my part here, be a part of that story and uh, have my hand in preserving these precious homes that we have out here and keeping them for the next generation, is, is part of what I love about what I do. Yeah, no, I mean, just spending the little bit of time that we have together this week, it's, it's become very evident to me how important uh, this, you know, where you live, your community, and being part of that and being recognized is very important to you, and I think you're doing a great job, Tim. I appreciate that.